a line passes through negative 1, negative 4, and negative 2, negative 1. What is the slope? Part B, what is the y-intercept? Part C, what is the equation of the line? Part D, can you plot the line? Part E, what is the x-intercept? A line passes through two points, negative 1, negative 4, and negative 2, negative 1. What is the slope? That's part A. So let's make this into x1, y1, x2, y2. If you are given two points, then slope is m, and that is change in y, delta y, over change in x, delta x, and that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you're given x1, y1, x2, y2. Determine delta x, x2 minus x1. And determine delta y, y2 minus y1. Once you have delta y and delta x, slope is delta y over delta x. What is delta y? Delta y is y2 minus y1. y2 is negative 1. y2 is negative 1. So y2 minus y1. What is y1? Negative 4. So negative 1 minus negative 4 is as good as negative 1 plus 4 because negative of negative 4 is positive. So you get negative 1 plus 4. What is negative 1 plus 4? 3. What about change in x? And that is equal to x2 minus x1. What is x2? Negative 2. x2 is negative 2. What is x1? Negative 1. So what is negative 2 minus negative 1? It will be negative 2 plus 1. And what is negative 2 plus 1? It is negative 1. So what is slope of the line? Change in y over change in x. What is change in y? Change in y is 3. What is change in x? Negative 1. So what is slope? Slope is delta y over delta x. And that is 3 over negative 1. And that is negative 3. And that is negative 3. So we are done with part A. What is the slope? Negative 3. What does that mean? That means for every one step you take to the right. When you go from left to right along the horizontal, you come down by 1, 2, and 3. So for every one step you take to the right, you come down by 3. And you join and you have the line. Part B, what is the y-intercept? So again, we know x1, y1, x2, y2. And we now know what slope is, negative 3. What is the y-intercept? We know y is equal to mx plus b. x1, y1 is a point on the line. Then you say y1 is equal to mx1 plus b. Or you could easily say that y2 is equal to mx2 plus b. We already know what x1, y1 is. So we know x1, y1, and we know slope. The only unknown is b. We know x2, y2, and slope. Only unknown is b y1 equals mx1 plus b. What is y1? Negative 4. So negative 4 equals negative 3. What is x1? Negative 1 plus b. So you get negative 4 is equal to positive 3 plus b. Subtract 3 from both sides and you get negative 7 is equal to b. 
if you do y2 equals mx2 plus b, then substitute y2 and x2 and m equals negative 3. So what do we get? Negative 1 equals negative 3 times negative 2 plus b. So negative 1 equals 6 plus b. Subtract 6 from both sides and you get b is equal to negative 7. So we are done with the y-intercept. What is the y-intercept? Negative 7. What is the y-intercept point? It is 0, negative 7. We're done with part A and part B. Now the question is part C. What is the equation of the line? So y is equal to mx plus b. We know what m is, negative 3. We know what b is, negative 7. So all you have to do is substitute m and b and you have the equation of the line negative 3x plus negative 7 which is the same as negative 3x minus 7 so y equals negative 3x minus 7 so that is the equation of the line so we are done with part a b and c part d can you plot the line so negative 1, negative 4, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So negative 1, negative 4 is right here. Negative 1, negative 4 is right here. So this is negative 2, negative 1. So now you join those two points and you have the line. Now let's look one step ahead. What is the x-intercept? When you extend the line, we see that the, the line touched the x-axis right here, and that is the x-intercept. The line touched the y-axis, the line touched the y-axis right here, 0, negative 7, that is the y-intercept. The x-intercept is somewhere between negative 2 and negative 3. Question is, what is that exact point? For that, we go to the equation of the line and substitute y is equal to 0. Why? Because on the x-axis, y is equal to 0. To get the x-intercept, that is the point where the graph of the line touch the x-axis, we need to set y is equal to 0 into the equation y equals mx plus b and solve for x. So part e, what is the x-intercept? So our equation of the line is negative 3x minus 7. Set y is equal to 0. Why? Because on the x-axis, y is always equal to 0. So you get 0 equals negative 3x minus 7. Add 7 to both sides and you get 7 is equal to negative 3x. Divide both sides by negative 3 and you get x intercept is 7 over negative 3 which is the same as negative 7 over 3 and that is roughly negative 2.33. So what is our x intercept point? negative 2.33 0 negative 7 over 3 0 so do not forget this is our x intercept and what is that point negative 2.33 0 it makes sense because from here to here is negative 1 negative 2 and negative 2.33 makes sense and this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.